Hello, everyone. Hello, dear friends. Hi, world. How are you doing? I am so beyond excited because today we are going to talk about pet fashion, about a very special I am so beyond excited and a really very talented today, person. We are going to talk about who loves for babies uh, and who really like dedicated his life and his career of creating beautiful things. So I know that a lot of you have been seeing recently uh, this incredible uh, event happening in social media. And a lot of you have been asking me, so Vasi, what is the Miss Universe coming? You know, can you tell us more? Can you tell us more about this incredible <laughs> and talented uh, designers, Ruben Santos, who it's like, uh, you know, from uh, Ruben's pet world. And I, by the way, I have to emphasize, I love the part with the world because as being pet picks world, in you know, a world, it's very important. <laughs> and so, you know, all of you have been asking me these questions and I'm like, well, let me try to ask, uh, you know, Ruben uh, Santana to come to the show. And so he has been very busy, but here is the day today when he is our <laughs> special VIP guest. And he's going to share with us more about his talents, about his passions, about his designs, and also how he came up with the idea about Miss Universe Canin and about the excitement news around it and all the bad parents. <laughs> so how are you doing, my friend? How is everything? Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here, right? After a long time chasing me down, you finally got me. <laughs> exactly. I finally got you. And uh, and the truth is, friends, before we you know, decided to live stream or, or do this as a podcast, I was like, listen, you need to tell me a little bit about, about you. Like, I want to, like, you want to meet them, this mysterious designer and incredible pet parent. And I'm like, I need to know more. So can you tell people a little more about you and how you decide to enter the pet world? Well, it's been a long journey. I've been in the pet world now for eight years. But since I was a little kid, I was a pet lover. Don't get me wrong, I had all kinds of animals. That was, instead of me asking for Christmas gifts, like a toy or something, I asked for birds or little things like that animal. That was my best Christmas gift. So I always had animals around me and that was my passion, care for them and, 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 and share the love with them. Because for me, they're more than just a dog. They're my companion, they're with me 24 seven. I work with them. So I'm always involved with the dogs and I learn a lot from them every time. This is absolutely amazing. And, um, and by the way, sounds very familiar because my daughter is the same way. She keeps saying everything with dog is her kitty's mom. I'm like, okay, sounds great. <laughs> and so how did, when did you start designing outfits? Well, um, I started as a pet stylist. That was my, my first day I went to school. I prepared myself and I became a, a dog stylist. And from there, uh, one day I decided to take one of my dogs. Her name was Dana. We call her the purple poodle because she always call her in purple. And I decided to take it to the city to uh, an event that they had in a hotel. I don't even remember the place. And I went there and I put her in the contest. It was a fashion contest and she had no dress. <laughs> but she was coloring purple with her nails done, jewelry. So she was, you know, a pretty girl. And uh, we end up in second place. Oh, wow. Second place. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool. And uh, then I met some of the ladies from the dog fashion world. I met Audrey, Bobby, uh, Grace, all these fabulous ladies and models. And I met all of them. And they introduced me to this world. And one day they told me, Ruben, you want to go to the New York pet fashion show? I was like, the New York pet fashion show? I was like, OK, you know, let me go. <laughs> And when I went walk in that room, it was like heaven to me. Yeah. What I saw was like, oh my God, this is me. This is who I am. And I saw the show, the runway, the dog, the people, the fashion, the lights, everything, and I fell in love. And since then, I've been addicted. <laughs> I can say it like that, like addicted to the dog world fashion. And not only fashion, anything about dogs, and also the 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 community, the rescue community. Um, and all those people, you know, um, and everybody, because it for me, it doesn't have to be, I love rescues, but not always everybody has a rescue. So I love all dogs. I like to include everybody. That's why Miss Universe 
canine is going to be special because any breed, any dog, from anywhere in the world, as long as you have a phone and access to the internet, you will be able to participate. And, and Miss Universe is all about creativity. So it's up to you how you want to create and present your dog. So that's that, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> I think 2023 is going to be even better. <laughs> I know. And, and friends, we'll make sure as pet picks, you know, we kind of share with you everything, you know, everything what's happening and etc. But I just, I love the concept. And I remember it was one, I think it was a Sunday few months ago when you launched it that and a lot of our uh you know uh, friends and followers they start sending messages dming me Basi, please <laughs> share i'm like what what is this miss you i never heard about it I, no one told me about it uh, and i'm like i'm i'm dying like like i cannot tell you friends for months I have been like, <laughs> like anxious in a good way. I'm like, I need to know more. And then they could, uh, you know, continue sending me, DMing me, uh, and also sharing <laughs> to my personal profile. And so I love the concept, but maybe for people who don't know, can you tell them a little more about how did you come up with the idea and what's the uniqueness? I mean, I think for sure, as you mentioned, uniqueness is the people from all around the world, which all, you know, pet picks, we stand for it can participate yes. that's yes the well um this universe is, is is an amazing competition because it shows different aspects of your dog like for example we have the talent competition all right and 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 what makes it interesting when it's on the internet and people are voting what's a talent for you that you like maybe a different talent for somebody because not only dogs have do tricks as a talent but they have their own talent that they're born with and sometimes we have to figure that out to bring that out from your dog. So that's the magic because the hardest part of this event is that you have to project everything through the internet. Yes. So you have to pay attention on the background, what's on the background, how you set up the photos, the videos, make sure that you show the details. For example, we're looking at an evening gown, right? And that's the competition. So if we do an evening gown, you want to make sure you show the details. And I tell people, you know, it's like a, a wave. You grab your phone and you go over slowly, showing the details. Don't go too fast. <laughs> and all those things are going to help you win the crown because details. And you also have to watch your background. I always people, so make sure your background is clean, clear. Yes. This way your dog, there's no distractions from your dog. I love it. Uh, by the way, for next year, for 2023, if you'd like, I can be their coach to teach, give, give them exactly some of those tips on photography. And That'd videos. be great. Yeah. <laughs> because it's important, you know, people, they, I mean, we have like very cute and beautiful babies, right? Uh, but being able exactly uh, to highlight them uh, virtually, it's not the same, like you not the same. Physically. And I think that some people, and I actually want to emphasize on this, some people might feel intimidated and probably that was something what really stopped them of doing it. But when you remember friends, three things, three things, one of it, it's for fun and to create yes. memories with your four babies. The second one, one. <laughs> yeah, number one, very important. The second thing, <laughs> And very important is that you are helping rescue organization because the winner will support rescue organization. And the third but very important thing is that you're bringing, uh, bringing smiles to people. You're giving them in a way like uh, their daily dose of happiness. So yes, yes, yes. Those three things. I just <laughs> well, you can't get better than that. <laughs> but it's true. A lot of people, when it went online and a lot of people get intimidated when... Uh, um, the people are voting. When you start voting online, it can be a little difficult challenge for yes. some people because, uh, like you know, some dogs have a lot of followers, others may have 20. <laughs> so, for some people, I feel that it's unfair, right? Yes, but I went through it, and after now that we're voting and the process went through, um, I found out that actually at the end kind of worked out because we have a little bit of both at the end. We have popular dogs, and then we have the ones that don't have that many votes, but now they go to the judges. Uh -huh. And now the judges, they're gonna decide regarding if you have 3,000 followers or you have two. 
So they are in charge. So that won't that will stop uh, for any kind of negativity in the pageant. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I to make it a little fair. Yes, I like it. So first, you hear friends. First, it's with people voting, but then it's the judges, and then the judges. Then it's the judges. Yes. What's the beauty of that? that each of them has different backgrounds and they look for different things. So yes. you're being judged fairly. And I can tell you being a judge, I was a judge only once in my life. That was the hardest thing. It's very yes. hard because, you know, I think that each poor baby, it's so beautiful and unique, but then if you have to pick up one of them, oh my God. <laughs> so again, don't yes. forget. It's about having the fun because, as we know, December fourth it's the fun, it's the finale, and yeah. uh, that's when people will be, you know, final select the judges will be final selecting uh, the yes. winner. And again, friends, don't forget whoever is the winner. It's about having fun, helping the rescues, uh, and just enjoy. yes, and, and and keep this this torch going of of dog fashion and and love, you know. Yes. Let's not stop here. You know, we got to keep going. Everybody should participate. Um, I'm trying to do my best. I'm very thankful for everybody because they're very patient. It's not that it's, it takes a lot of time. Uh, we're all busy doing work and doing our personal things. And, and on top of that, I had to add this to you guys as like last minute. So I, that's the thing I like. You know, I like to do things like quick, boom. Everybody <laughs> gets surprised. Like, what is this? When he started this? Well, wow, wow. So I was like, well, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Listen, you and I, I'm telling you, we are so much the same. It's absolutely crazy because I am the same way like you. I decide for hours. I, by yeah. the end of the day, I already have the structure. The rest of it, it's just question of you know, getting things in order, but I, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. And then uh, I know that you also have a Facebook group as well, where people yes. can come and I'm actually going to show it in a second. Uh, you know, people can come and, um, uh, you know, uh, participate this way and check it out and really kind of get to know. Yes, it. yes. Because there they're going to get a lot of information what's coming for 2023. We have, we have amazing things coming for 2023 for everybody to join. <laughs> That's another secret. I'm not going to tell you all the details. Of no, course. I'm done. <laughs> kind of not yet. Maybe the stuff. next interview. Exactly. Oh, of course, because friends, this is just the beginning of this. This is just the beginning. Yes. So get ready. But this is how it looks like. You can see. I already, by the way, added the link or look at below in the description of the video or the podcast you're watching or listening. That means Puerto Rico, Gia. Yeah, Miss Gia, yeah. Miss Gia with the congas over there making her way through the crown. <laughs> it's adorable. It's adorable. They're all adorable uh, pets, you know, they're all amazing. Okay. And actually, I have some contestants like Miss Argentina. She's actually in Argentina. Oh. Yes, Miss Argentina participates. She lives in, Miss, in Argentina. And we have a friend from uh, Philippines, Adrian, that's also participating. So you okay. can see, like, they have opportunities to come in and participate, no matter where you are. I like this. This is really nice. And I do have a question. How people, like, how did they pick their countries? Or you pick them for them? Or they apply? No, this is the thing. Uh, this is about representing a country. It doesn't matter if you're from there. Okay. You understand? Okay. Any dog can participate. Choose a country that they want to represent, their culture, their pride. Uh, and, and they can uh, do the fashion. Mm -hmm. So you have different options to select any country if they took one that you wanted to be there and you can select another one this is the national costumes that's coco chanel from philippines you see how beautiful yes. uh, creative it's amazing the work the details yes. uh, yes. and when you see uh this this uh, costume this design you can see it says philippines you yes. know it's very easy yes. so that's it you know in, on the internet you have to make sure that if when people see they know it's philippines Yes. When it's Puerto Rico, you see Puerto Rico in the costume, okay? So that's part of the whole thing. You're representing the country. So dog fashion. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a, that's amazing. Look I love the details, the yes. Yes. Wow. With the lights in it. The lights. Wow. Uh, Adrian is very talented. He's an, an amazing designer from the Philippines. I, I, I had the opportunity to... Uh, Talk to him during a uh, New York Pet Fashion Show. Yeah. And he's a cool guy. I know a lot of the designers. 
yeah. and some uh most of them are my friends i can say most of them <laughs> yeah. and uh especially the guys we get along we have a different vibe because we have the ladies in the fashion world but we have the guys yeah and we're usually in the background you know we are the designers so a lot of people only see us sometimes at front when we come out but the late our, our models take care of everything yeah. So you know, in the background, we're having fun and we're talking and chatting and <laughs> I love it. I have to confess. So yeah. I, uh, for me, like, and that's the reason when I told you that we did our pop fashion week, which we know friends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you already know one of our amazing designers. And so I was looking in, in uh, the one for, you know, for both of the ones we did. And I'm like, we need, you know, men designers. We know we need to because I feel that it doesn't matter women or men. All of all of you, you are artists. You are very, you know, very gifted. And yes. then it was like, I'm, and then I was looking and I'm like, my God, I'm missing a man designer. You're missing a man. <laughs> yeah. It's then, also, it's also that happens also with the male dogs. Have you noticed that most of the female yes. dogs are on the fashion show because yes. uh, it's. I believe, to my opinion, <laughs> it's only my opinion, it's easier, a lot easier to dress a, 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 a female dog than a boy dog. Probably. Because you have to put more into the boy, more details to kind of show yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, because we, yeah, we, the yeah. female, they got the, the train, the capes, the, the all that extra. We guys, we don't have nothing. We're very simple, clean. <laughs> so it's very hard when it comes to fashion to to showcase when you have a boy. And that's why I always uh, chose a, a, a boy dog, a male dog, instead of a female uh -huh. for my fashion, to give that that look and to represent. <laughs> no, but I, I love it and you're absolutely right. You know, boys, de friends, boys definitely are fashionable. Boys yes. can look amazing on the runway. I call it the virtue stage around the world. <laughs> With their daddies yes. or mommies. So I, I like this and I'm glad that we can talk about it because, yeah, friends, don't forget about yeah. the boys. They can be real. Yeah, the boys, you know, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh my God. Then I do have a question for you as a designer. So yes. I know that, uh, I mean, we are right now almost the end of the, you know, November to December, it's here. Yes. Uh, so like people would, are you still accepting orders for people if they like for the like for the holidays for New Year's Eve and etc. or like because people can hire you to create an outfit for their for babies, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Right now, um, I'm rearranging all my Life. my Ruben's head world, putting everything together. I have uh, now. I have plans of. I have a beautiful fashion show coming up December 10 that uh, Ooh, with other designers. To share, please. So I'm going. I'm going to be there with all the designers on that event and um showing some of my fashions and then i also you know i do a lot of events through the through the year something comes up and i just do it and i create okay. but i also have my halloween event at the end of the year yes it, uh, which is big i do designs for um fashion week i get orders for fashion week to create something different valentine's day uh, all those because now a lot of holidays coming valentine's day uh what else and then in the summer we do a lot, I do a lot of parades. So a lot of people ask me for custom for the parades. Oh. So that's a fun and exciting thing yeah, to, yeah. to create. Yeah, I could talk about this as well. <laughs> and one of the big things also, but a lot of people ask me not only to create a uh, 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 gowns and, and, and fashion, they also ask me to uh, decorate their strollers for different events, oh. which is even which I love to 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 create a, a stroller for a dog. Oh, I like it's always that. fun and creative, yes. And usually I use a lot of uh, recyclable materials oh, that's to create everything. Better. Yes. Oh, well, maybe one day you can give us uh, some tips on, like, show us some of your, you know, strollers. Yes, yes, on, on the strollers and all of that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really cool, especially, I mean, sometimes, like, for a little longer, I think that, you know, some people can definitely benefit from a stroller. And I know sometimes people might hesitate, you know, saying, oh, my shower, it's not too fancy. How can I bring it to this fashion shower? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Some oh, ideas. Yeah. Oh, you God. know what's funny? When I started in the fashion show, I was like, I told one of my friends, say, I'm never getting a stroller. That's not for a boy. Right. I'm not going to walk around with no stroller in New York City in the Bronx. <laughs> now I got four strollers. <laughs> and four? I decorate all of them. Yes. 
<laughs> well, that's amazing. Uh, by the way, I just want to say that uh, four, wow. That's yeah, four. Awesome. Four Vicos. <laughs> Like <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I got plenty to decorate and, and go out with my dogs. <laughs> By the way, Everly Spin, uh, mommy, she's saying hi to you. Uh, hi. And yeah, <laughs> so it's really fantastic. Wow, wow, that, that's really great. Well, and is there anything else you may would like to share with people? We already talked. Well, I will about tell, uh, right now, I will tell people to start getting ready Okay. Right, for the 2023. Um, you can see the beautiful grad crown. I have it here. This is the first time uh, you guys are seeing the crown. So it's, I'm so excited. It's beautiful. One of lucky winner. Only one can take the crown home. And one thing is that once you are Miss Universe, uh, you will be a Miss Universe forever. Unfortunately, you won't be able to compete again because you got to give a chance to everybody else to compete. Now, I, I, already people know we have a tonic competition, right? We have national costume evening gown, and the final look for the judges. So if you are planning to participate on next year, start getting your ideas ready right now. Start working on all your materials, getting your videos, your vision, start to think about the country you want to represent, um, study the country, the culture, and try to bring that up. And also, if you have any detail about that country, about the dog population, and what's happening there with the dog uh, uh, rights, and all of that, we wanted you to share that also, to bring that part of what's happening in that country, what they're doing to uh, do better things for dogs and highlight the good things also. And, and, and we have to share the bad things because it's part. We have to share both things. So if anybody out there that's gonna participate and um, knows about um, the dog community in their country and they wanna share, um, will be great to, to hear. And all the designers, you know, Although it's Miss Universe and I don't get the time to mention every single designer <laughs> because I don't have the real the time and the space to put on the video, each one of them. But I'm very grateful for them because they are the creators, you know, behind. They are that the, they create the art for this pageant that we enjoy. And, and, and I'm very thankful for them. Also, my judges, um, they're amazing. They're top quality. You got, you're going to find out who they are. I kept it a secret because I don't want nobody calling my judges, asking for questions. Mm -mm. Exactly. <laughs> but you're going to find out uh, on December 4th, you're going to find out who the judges are, and you're going to find out the results. And, and we're going to have the first Miss Universe K9 uh, uh, winner. And I'm so happy. You know, I'm very excited, and I'm enjoying I'm happy that you are, um, gave me the opportunity to be here and, and, sh and share these, uh, this new journey that I started, that we started. <laughs> and people get ready because 2023 is gonna be fun. All the details, December 4, you have to watch the show. At the end of the show, I'm gonna announce what's gonna happen for 2023, okay? So you must watch because you have to get ready to go get the country you wanna represent and select that country and start working. We don't have so much time, so get ready, people. Yeah, get ready, friends, <laughs> December 4th, which is this week on Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. This is 5 p.m. Pacific time on the Facebook, which I already shared. Uh, you know, you can go and watch. Uh, and so we will pick the winner. Uh, the, the, the three judges, the judges, I don't know how many they are. We'll pick we the have five judges. Five. <gasps> God, that's a lot. That's beautiful. This is incredible. And someone is going to win this beautiful crown. And then 2023, it's coming up. With a it's lot coming. Of it's so coming. Everybody should get ready. <laughs> I love it. And thank you so much. Can you tell people where they can find you on social media? Yes, you can find me on Facebook or uh, Miss Universe K9 on, on Facebook and Instagram. And also you can follow me and Ruben's Pet World on the internet. Over there, you're gonna find everything I do from interviews, uh, grooming, dog styling, fashion, the Miss Universe, uh, what else? My artwork is coming. I'm gonna have everything there for you guys to enjoy. So just follow me, follow me on social media. I will appreciate it and I will follow back because I'm one of those guys <laughs> that like to follow my followers. Actually, I don't like to just sit there and just watch everybody follow me. I like to share that. I like to like your photos. I also like to share your, your, your posts and, and grow the community uh, to make a better place for us, for everybody. 
I love it. You're very <laughs> personable. And this is honestly nowadays very rare. And I would say that it's like we are very fortunate. You know, I am very <laughs> grateful to you for coming today on the show. And again, this is just the start. And uh, very, I'm very excited because what you came up with, what you are creating with the help uh, of the amazing pet parents, also of the help of, you know, the incredible designers, now of these five, uh, the, you know, um, judges, uh, this is really uh marvelous it's really fabulous i mean and we are uniting the world and one of the but, things right we are uniting yeah. the world very important thing. yeah but one thing is that i want to say you see all my judges i was that uh, they support me when i was a young designer they gave me opportunities wow. to grow and that's why i decided to bring that group back i was at these people they believed in me when i was nobody when i stepped in that fashion show in new york that everybody looked at me like, who is this crazy yes. little Spanish yes. guy here? <laughs> and they, they had no idea anything about fashion. But those people that you're going to see, those those that are selected for this year, they were there for me. Wow. And I trust them. And I trust the vote. And I know they're going to make the right decision. And and, and 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 that's why they're there, because they're special. They're close to me. And, and I believe when people give you the opportunity in life, you always have to remember that and bring them and have them around you because there's your support. Without them, probably I wouldn't never made, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> well, we, we are very fortunate and blessed to have you and you know to continue seeing your success. Uh, and the most important it's because people they don't under, they don't understand this is about helping the pet community. It's about uniting the pet community. And it, it's like you the same way like me, it's not about Vasi, it's not about Ruben, it's about what, uh, how in our own ways we contribute to the better place in the pet world, you know, physically or virtually. And that's how yes. I think we can end it up. It's just like so. Yes, beautiful. yes, yes. And it's amazing, <laughs> finally. Yeah, it's finally. <laughs> and thank you so much. So, for our friends, stay tuned. Uh, we'll continue sharing. Please make sure you go and you participate in the group. Again, it's below in the description. Uh, and we also will continue, you know, sharing some of the information to pet pics to kind of, again, remind you, go and go and keep watching. And just <laughs> yes. thank you again for everything. See you soon, my friend. I cannot thank you. wait to hear back about, you know, to have you back and hear more about the next. All right. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Muchas gracias. Bye. Yes, bye.